A surprise appearance at court today by former Deputy President Jacob Zuma. His lawyers are trying to block an attempt by the state to secure potentially damning evidence against him. The National Prosecuting Authority is trying to get its hands on a diary that belongs to a key figure in the arms deal. It's currently under lock and key in Mauritius. None of the usual fanfare as Jacob Zuma slipped quietly into court. His legal team, in a desperate battle to prevent the state obtaining a diary that could lead to Zuma's rearrest on charges of corruption. The diary belongs to the former boss of French arms company Tint, Alain Tetard. The National Prosecuting Authority believes the diary contains an entry about a meeting attended by Tetard, Jacob Zuma, and his former financial advisor, Shabir Sheikh. The state alleges that it was during this alleged meeting that the three men discussed a half a million rand bribe for Zuma, an attempt to secure a bribe that shipped Sheikh off to prison. But the NPA can't get hold of that diary without a letter from the court asking Mauritius for it. Well, we can't bring any matter before the courts if you're not confident uh, to succeed. Uh, but at this present moment, it's just for us to wait uh, for, 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 for the final hearings and thereafter we'll get our judgment. But Zuma's legal eagles say the state is on yet another fishing expedition. They'll argue that the NPA's already blown its chance to prosecute Zuma, his corruption case having been struck off the court roll last year. A ruling on the release of the diary is expected before the court shuts shop for the weekend. Vanessa Governor, E-News, Peter Maritzburg.